Dudes and due dates. It's me again. Um, I think I mentioned in one of the previous videos that I had the new Marklin V188 here. And uh, I sold it because I made a bit of a stuff up. Uh, I wanted the Reichsbahn one and I just checked quickly and I saw Deutsche some wara 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 on the side. Bought the damn thing and when I got you it was actually a DB one. Which is not what I wanted so I sold it. And then um, now I got the right one. That one was 55286. This is 55284. I'll show you now. Um, guys what can I say? It is, like I said previously, one hell of a loco. All metal Marklin goodness. Um, weirdly enough, in this specific color, it just jumps at you. It's just different. Now, all right, before we get there, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I also got, which is why I'm sitting this side of the counter, I also got this in the same box which is the ESU, I think it's a 50113 or whatever. This, this comes with a mini access point, which is um, a remote, because I got an ECOS, which is a remote uh, control for it. First time in my life that I got something like this, very funky, um, very solid. You know, it feels like a cell phone. Um, it's got a beautiful color screen there, you can see. Uh, very nice. Uh, nobody's watching me, but you know, it's not like the Roka multi mouse, which is very, very plastic. Um, like the ecosystem, it's not uh, square and old looking like an old army radio, police radio, like some of the other systems that I've seen. So, yes, I'm very chuffed with this. Uh, somebody said to me somewhere. Yeah, but you don't want to run with something like this outside because the color screen and the sun tried it outside. I can see brilliantly clearly on it. Uh, it won't be a problem. So yeah, yeah, I want to try this too. But I don't want to talk about this now. I want to concentrate, concentrate on the train. So, alright. Let's start at the beginning. Let me show you the train. Let me bring it here to you. Alright, so. This, my dear friends is it. This is one hell of a beautiful loco. Now, I'm 50 years old, so I'm a little bit shaky. I don't want to, somebody complained about my videos being shaky. Well, when you get to my age, you'll understand why. Anyway, so this, this is um, what she looks like. And let me just bring this a bit closer. There's a hell of a lot of detail on this train. Now, one of the Factors about this one that I want what that I actually wanted was this has got the dual sandboxes on every axle. So you got 32 sandboxes in total. You can see them there. Um, and then obviously I've got the Dora, the big railway cutter on 135 scale being built by a friend of mine as we speak. And you know, this is the right loco for it. So that is part of my plan for future reference. Look at the how crisp this thing is. Now, also, I don't know if I've mentioned this now, but this is all metal. The whole body, everything is metal. I mean, listen to the door. You know, that's very, very nice. Now, I'll show you inside the cab now when I put the lights on. Um, there are things, one thing about it that I'm not too chuffed about, but more about that later. I need to explain it to you. Uh, the sound on it is brilliant. Really, really, really nice. You can see how it couples there. It's got a little hook and then it's got an old plug plugging in there. Very nice. Okay, and if you look at the roofs here, you can see there's the fans. See-through grids. All these there are see-through, they're very nice. There's the one smoker, and there's the second smoker, and that's where my gripe lies. But I'll talk to you about it now. Um, I mean, look at that there. 
the detail in focus, focus, focus. Look at the detail inside these cabs. But when we switch the lights on now, I will show you more of that. Okay, so let's do it. I'm going to put this down so you can see it. And then also show you what the problem is I have with it. All right, now let me just see if I can work this e costing. Right, there we go. Um, okay, I'm ready. Right, there we go. Look carefully at the smokers. I don't know if it's going to do it now. There the air starters. Brilliant. Okay, I timed that rather good. I have to say. <laughs> but okay, look at the smokers now. I can actually switch them off. There is on the Ecos here. These little blue bastards there. Um, I can switch them off individually. So if I look at it and I go. Uh, that one. It's gone. Then this one will still be working. And then off. So you can set. You, you can switch them on and off separately. Which I reckon is. I don't know how the hell they did it like that. Because it is dynamic smoke. So you'll see now when she. Actually starts up that the fans will blow harder all that sort of stuff very good sound eh? very very good sound ok so you see there but it's very hard to time them because I have done it before that the smokers would actually start smoking without the motors you know being started and that to me is a bit of a it was a bit of a Dolph move. They should have made it that it works with the sound. It, it's independent of the sound. That's what I'm trying to say. But that's it. I'm not going to shoot the loco down because of that. Once she's up and running, it's just beautiful. It's very good smoke. Look at her. Okay, you also got the... There's the top light on. I'm going to switch it off because it makes a hell of a racket and switch the cab lights and stuff on now look at this I mean guys that's a lot of detail look at that thing inside the rear it's got a bit of a fan now problem you see I, I didn't switch the smokers off now and now you have a train that's off with smoke pouring out of it that to me is just not the best way to do it but anyway all right so look at the detail inside this thing there's a lot of stuff that makes up for that little shortcoming the rest of this model is brutal it's brilliant it is really right up there with the best of them and I uh, I'll talk about the price just now. You know, I can never, you know, oversee the price. But um, uh, more about that now. Look at that. And the quality of this. This is all metal. Body and the roof, everything. Even the glass. If you look at the glass, it's very, very... Uh, you can see it there. It's like a thicker type of glass. It's probably a plastic. But it's crystal clear. Um, it, it looks like it will last for years. They got that little shape in there. So, you see. All right. So um, it also has a couple of other features that I like. You've got telex couplers, which is uh, always handy to have, and it obviously works with the sound. So. See like that, and then down, and then obviously, you know, the, the one this side too. Um, so that's lucky. Yes, yes. Now, 
I'm going to put this down here so we can have a nice look at it and then talk a bit of nonsense. Um, I got this one just under 2,000 euro, which is makes it in my mind a lot of loco for the money. It's got two motors. It's got four traction tires. It is strong as all hell. Trust me on this. Um, I put my did the finger test last night, and you know, try and stop it at the buffer at speed step one. It just goes with you. It is immensely strong. It's probably the strongest loco I've ever felt in gauge one. To be frank, um, I, I remember an HS scale. This thing was also. It was a brute. I don't know if it's the wheelbase um, and the weight. That's a perfect combination. Um, it just puts down the power, lifts its skirt, and with whatever is behind it, it will go. All right. Now, uh, you're looking at about 2,000 euro. If you shop around, they retail for 2,499. Uh, most folks got them at 22,50 or around there, um, which makes it, what, 800 euros cheaper than a KM1 V200. And I think this is, this is, this is a lot of loco. It's really a lot of loco. The features jam packed with features. One of the things that I like. Listen to the horn. Um, this is very nice. Uh, they actually got the air conditioner. I remember I complained about the one on the, on the croc because it was flat. But this one. Now that is what it should sound like. Once more because we can. Yeah, so there you have it, um, packed with detail. Oh yeah, and another thing I want to show you is you know, the fans on the roof turn only when the loco moves. So, which way are we going? All right. Yes, and uh, I did not time the smokers right now, so let's see. <laughs> Motors are going to be up and running, and then the smoke will only come later. So you've got to concentrate with this. Um, you see, there's the smokers now. But okay, so the fans will only move when the loco runs. Don't throw your toys out the cot like I did when I was, oh, they're not working. They are. It works when the loco goes. And it comes with the sound, so... There's a couple of things on this uh, that I see the other one didn't have. It's like this, this here. I, I'm not entirely sure what that was for. Looks like a chain or something could hook there. Um, that wasn't on the previous one. This has also got the slide wipers, which is lovely. Um, and that is basically that. I can show you once more the detail on the side here. Look at the sand, the sand pipes going down there on the wheels. Very, very nice loco. Just once more in there. I really like that. I'll dust it a little bit later with something so it doesn't shine like that. But really, this is a very, very, very pretty loco. So yeah, guys, there it is. I think uh, Marklin has come to the party. They have... Um, really thrown a cat among the pigeons because I reckon that at what they charge for them as opposed to what other manufacturers charge for similar locos they gonna they gonna stir the market a bit look it's still bloody a hell of a lot of money but uh, yeah I feel like I get value for my bucks and it being a Marklin it will run forever. There was one other little thing. Look, it's not a train smash. Pardon the pun. Um, when I ran it last night without the sound on, 
it is not as quiet as for instance a KM1 would be. There is a slight little motor noise. Okay, that's still a fan that's on. Switch that out. Do all the sounds off. Now listen to her when she runs with no sound on. It's it's a slight noise. It's 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 really not bothering me. Yeah there. You hear now when again when she comes past. But that's it. And it's really not bugging me. You know the Markland HOs of old sounded like coffee grinders, but hell, they ran forever. I mean they will probably outlive you. Um so I know, I know, I know that this will be a no-nonsense logo. It it will run forever. Um and also I didn't oil it. I didn't set any of the brake acceleration brake delays. Haven't oiled it yet, haven't serviced it. So pff, who knows? Probably with a couple of kilos on the belt, under her belt she will be better. Or that will be quite